as much as I think that Rudy Giuliani is a washed up, has been constitutionally infringing shitbag in regards to his legal practice, I actually kind of like him as a public figure and a politician. Okay? Like, let, let me be clear on that. Kind of like him. He's charming. I like some of the shit he says. I think he's got the right approach uh, politically to a lot of stuff. But as a lawyer, he was bad. He's fucking terrible. His representation on the election shit may have, now probably not the way all of the election suits, but when we're watching it, we're watching it live and all of the suits haven't been thrown out yet and you've got this hearing and you're before the fucking court. You want the guy to stand up and say, look, I think it was Pennsylvania. Here in Pennsylvania, the Constitution mandates that changes to the Constitution first be passed by a supermajority in both houses and then go to two sessions, two separate public votes as ballot measures, and they must pass each one. The Constitution of Pennsylvania says so. And what we have here is a case in which a constitutional change was passed following the procedure. It did pass one, one of the public ballot measures, but it has not passed the second. And the election commission in Pennsylvania impermissibly in violation of the constitution of the oath they swore to uphold utilized an illegal and unlawful procedure because it had not passed yet. This was not good law. This is not good law. The Constitution of Pennsylvania is repulsed by the usage of a constitutional amendment that is not ripe, that is not approved by the people, and cannot possibly be used as the basis for procedure in the most critical public involvement that can be done by a citizen, and that is participation voluntarily in a vote for the representation of their voice in government. And because the Pennsylvania Constitution is repulsed by the process, because it has not approved the process, the votes that were mailed in, compelled by unconstitutional laws, must be disregarded. They must be reassessed, and Pennsylvania must postpone or outright change the election results based on a proper tabulation following proper constitutional procedure. That's what he needed to say. We have the data. We have the number of votes that need to be redone, but really Pennsylvania needs to hold a re-election because some people voted relying on the government to provide them the proper process and the government failed them and they should have every opportunity to go in and vote under the constitutional procedure that Pennsylvania has set up to collect the votes, not only in accordance with the Pennsylvania constitution, but in accordance with the federal constitution, which guarantees states the right to set their own procedures, but necessarily must caution against states violating their own law because while states have the leverage to define their own procedures, while they have that right, they do not have the right to violate their law and violate their citizens' participation in a public vote for the President of the United States, the House of Representatives, and the Senate. And if we allow unconstitutional laws to be abided by and abused prior to their approval under the Pennsylvania Constitution, then we have no system of governance for the public participation in your own government. It is in violation of the Constitution of Pennsylvania and the Constitution of the United States. 
and it cannot stand to the supreme law of the state and the supreme law of the nation. That's the argument. And instead, he went up and babbled like a fucking retard. A fucking retard. 